best water Pokemon? Well, there's definitely plenty of water Pokemon out there, so plenty of good candidates, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw Greninja's name out there. And I know what you're all thinking, oh, what a cliched answer, but you know, hear me out, because honestly, at first I wasn't on the Greninja bandwagon. In my first playthroughs of Pokemon X and Y, I started with Fennekin and Chespin, respectively. What really sold me, to be honest, was the first time I watched Greninja in the new Super Smash Bros. games, and just what they did taking his design and translating it into a Smash Bros. character really impressed me. He's super fast, and the little trick I like doing is doing his down A over and over again. You can kind of, if you time it right, you can bounce on your enemies indefinitely, which is pretty cool, pretty fun to do. So, I mean, that opened me up to Greninja, really. That's where when I kind of gave him a chance, and started getting into him a little bit. And so then when I actually went back and looked at his uses in the games, with, of course, his hidden ability Protean, it's kind of like, oh, OP and, you know, ridiculous. He can be any type. But that's kind of the cool thing about him, because to me, water types in the main playthrough of the game, for the most part, they've always been restricted to when you're playing the game, you know, oh, the typical HM slave is a water type, because you have surf always, waterfall, dive, and in the old generation's whirlpool, you had water Pokemon loaded with HM moves, and with Greninja you get something different, I mean he can still learn those HM moves, but you have so many different possibilities with Greninja, and I think that versatility is what makes Greninja a cool water Pokemon, and just a cool Pokemon in general. So, if you were to ask me what my favorite water type Pokemon is, I would have to go with the almighty water serpent dragon known as Kingdra. Kingdra is just so freaking badass, it is the most phenomenal water type Pokemon of all times because it eats up Electro type it eats, it eats up every kind of hit that you could throw at it unless you attack it with a dragon type move but it can even take out like dragons because it gets ice beam there's nothing no reason why you should not love Kingdra Kingdra is like just it's the bay it is like the holy bay you know what I'm saying Kingdra is just so beautiful it is a majestic creature that comes from the Kanto region um, I know Kanto is not everybody's favorite region, but I like Kanto, and I think Kingdra is just absolutely insane. Um, I've no, I've never used it competitively, but I'm sure it's pretty fucking good there too. But um, yeah, Kingdra is by far my favorite Water type Pokemon, and I love that thing to bits. I've loved it for as long as I can remember, honestly. Um, it's just always been a pain to train up a Horsey into a Seedra into a Kingdra. So that's the only thing that's kind of held me back from using it a lot in like LPs and stuff. But um, without that, with that being said, um, thank you all for listening, and yeah, Kingdra's awesome. I don't want to seem like a Gen 1-er, but when it comes to water types, the first thing that comes in mind is Blastoise, and it's for a reason. If you check its stats, it is an amazing physical attacker, but in Generation 6, a new thing was introduced called Mega Evolution, and this beast obviously got one with the ability Mega Launcher, which increases the power of Aura and Pulse moves by 50%, and knowing that he gets a great variety of moves, including Water Pulse, Dragon Pulse, and Aura Sphere, which benefit from its ability, it's just a monstrosity. And if you have a beneficial nature on it, you can get its attack stat up to 405. Talk about a Hydro Cannon. Well, maybe it's a special attack, but you know what I mean. You are not gonna take a hit from this Pokemon. What's up, Team Eclipse Grunts? Admin Insider here, and I think Starmie is the best water type Pokemon. This really is based on personal reasons and nothing else, to be honest. When I was playing Pokemon Soul Silver, I chose Starmie as my water type for my very first ever somewhat competitive team, and I just think it's amazing. It's fast, powerful, and has a wide move pool. Not only that, but it's one of the few water and psychic type Pokemon. This typing is shared with only the Slowpoke line, and it's one of my favorites of all time, just behind the combination of Fire and Dark. Anyway, Starmie is a very well-designed Pokemon as well, and all of the reasons I have stated here are why Starmie is the best water type Pokemon.